Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Football Manager 2023 as we continue our road to glory run with Banbury United FC still in the Championship League, going to be in the Championship League again next year. Uh, it is what it is. Things have been going about the way they have lately. I mean, pretty okay. Not bad, not good, just okay. Um, but the board's happy. The fans are mostly okay. Uh, and like I said, we're going to be in the Championship League again next year. So we're definitely gonna have another chance at this. Hopefully we can put together a team that can take care of business. Let's get into the episode. All right, here we are. Obviously the last two games you guys saw were the double wins against Ipswich and Millwall. Uh, we don't up against Leicester and a drill against them. I mean, we got a point, but Pretty boring point. Uh, we went up against Middles Middlesbrough and drew against them. Uh, we did get a goal from Campbell and a goal from Umaru, but unfortunately could not hold on to the lead. Gave up a goal in the 74th minute, and it was a draw. Very sad. Uh, we then went up against Oxford. Took care of business against Oxford, at least. Uh, we got a goal from Clarkson, a goal from Fisher, and a goal from Hurd in this game. So good stuff all around there. And then we dropped oh, against Preston. Uh, we did get a goal from Griffiths and a goal from Amaru, but we could not hold on. We actually went up two to nothing in this game, and they just came back and just we just shut down. I don't know, completely shut down. So very frustrating. Last time we played Preston, we beat them, so that's even worse. <laughs> you know, I mean, it just is what it is. Oh, you know, I just realized I came back a game too soon. That's right. I'll play Plymouth here at home. I'll probably go away and play Swansea myself, and then I'll bring you guys back for West Brom. I think that'll be fine. That way, you guys can see the two home games. But uh, let's go ahead and get into this. And here's the team we're bringing today. Watson go. Bedford on the left. Hecker on the right. Good to have Bedford back, of course. Um, we got Theodoro and Kamol in the middle. Mandana. Sorry, Mandanda. And Clarkson in the midfield with Griffiths on the left wing. Hurd on the right wing. Harris holding down the attacking midfielder spot. And Campbell ahead of them. Let's see if we can get any sort of result today. And just in the uh, at this point, we're not playing for anything. We're just wanting to end the season on a high note. That's really all it is. It's just pride at this point. Plus, getting to see some of these players and see see who we're going to end up keeping next year and who we're not. Because obviously, we're losing losing some of our better players again because they're they're lonies. But uh, hopefully, we can hold on to. Uh, maybe we can get one or two of them back because th they all just about played well. I have to take a look at it again. Pretty sure all of our lonies played well enough to consider keeping us keeping around. Not sure where this early highlight's going. There's Clarkson with the ball. Gets it up. Trying to get it to Hurd. Not able to get it to him, though. Hecker picks up the interception there. Gets it over to Clarkson. Clarkson gets it back up to Hecker. Hecker's going to try for a goal, probably. Nope, he's going to get over to Griffiths. Good attempt. Good attempt. I actually thought Griffiths was going to get that. Oh, we're in 11th place. Sorry to <laughs> bury that part. Uh, still got a chance to take out Ipswich for the 9th place, but that's as far as we're going to get. Now, when we won the championship uh, two seasons ago, the season before that, we had been in 15th place with only 55 points. Uh, it looks like we will be able to beat both the point total as well as the placement total this season, which means it's not impossible to think that we could knock it out of the park next year and actually uh, uh, get a good result and potentially even win this whole thing again. But uh, definitely got to play better than we did this year. Got to get a better team. Just got to get a solid team that can not only get... Oh, man, Campbell. Not only get past the championship, but just be good enough to continue on into the Premier League and just keep us up. If we just need... If we could just stay up in the Premier League, I think we could get this this save done and get, it, get things taken care of. Because obviously, one of the big things we're doing right now is we're losing money, right? Like I said, we've already talked about it. We're losing money in the championship. Um, obviously, being in the Premier League more than one season in a row would allow us to build up that that uh, stockpile and allow us to hopefully start getting better and better players because we're going to have better and better uh, wages and transfers as our bank account goes up. Easier said than done, though, right? I mean, this is not... It's a pretty tough challenge. There's just such a difference between all these other leagues and the Premier League. There's Mandanda with the ball. Back to Watts. Up to Theodoru. Pushing it up to Griffiths. This highlight is going on forever. Madonna up to Harris. Back to Theodoru. Clarkson. 
Heard now with the ball. He's going to get it all the way up. Campbell's in a good spot. He's going to be able to go for a goal here. Good save. Good save. If we could get Campbell back next year, I really like our chances. I don't think there's any way possible that that will happen. Don't think we'll have anywhere near enough money to get him in here. And truth be told, we don't have anybody of value to sell to like flip around and get somebody like that. It's just, we're kind of, I don't know. I don't know. It just, we're just in a weird place right now. Come on, guys. Finish this game off. Hecker with the ball. Gets it over to Kamali. Clarkson pushes it up to Harris. Back to Hurd. Hurd gets it all the way up. Campbell's going to make a good move here. Come on, finish it. Oh, almost. I thought he was going to get that one. Still looking good. I mean, I mean, even though he didn't get that one, it still, still looked pretty good. Uh, Griffiths struggling a bit. Let's bring Fisher in for that spot. Um, I heard on a yellow card. Could bring him out. We'll leave him in for now. Honestly, this can be about the only stuff we're going to do for right now. I think this formation will work next season. I mean, the only other difference I might make is that if we decide that the attacking midfielder is a spot that we just can't get recruitment for, uh, we might switch that to a defensive midfielder because we do have a lot of midfielders slash defensive midfielders. Um, and I think that formation would work pretty well as well. Right, Bedford needs to come out here. Carew can come in for him. Let's go ahead and get Hurd out. I mean, I know he's played extremely well, but we need to... I don't want to get him on a red card or anything like that. All right, last two subs. Harris getting pretty tired. We will bring Hawkshaw to that spot, I guess. And then... You know, let's, let's give Dar Darby a chance here. I mean, he's not amazing, but... And maybe this is a mistake, but I just... I don't know. <laughs> give him a chance. Give the guy a chance. Campbell gets tripped up there. Oh, it was, it was just an offsides. Never mind. Maybe it was just an offsides call. Kamala with the ball. Up to Clarkson. Over to Mandanda. Fisher now with the ball. Pushes it up. Gets to Hawkshaw. Hawkshaw's in a good spot. Not a good attempt, although I think that it was tipped by the goalkeeper. Yes, it was. We're going to get a corner kick coming from Hawkshaw. We have had, we've really struggled with our corner kicks this season. I'm not sure what's going on with that. We need to, I need to figure that out. See if there's something messed up with the instructions that I have compared to what I usually do. Mandanda with the ball over to Clarkson. Clarkson gets it up to Salisbury. Over to Hawkshaw. Salisbury's going to be able to chase this one down. Not, it's going to let it go out of bounds. Looks like it will be a throw in for us. Highlight is continuing. This is a, Interesting. Late here in the in the game. Another throw in. I was throwing for them. Never mind. I thought that was off of them. Why is the highlight continuing? Come on, guys. Play some good defense. You played well so far. Here's Darby with the ball up to Salisbury. Salisbury gets up. Campbell gets past the defense. Just him and the goalkeeper. Oh, great move. Great move by Campbell. Oh, man. Why can't we not keep you? There's no way. I mean, he's going to be worth 30 million bucks. Easy. No way we get Campbell back in next year. All right. Took care of business. Good stuff all around. Good work. All right, Ipswich is three points ahead of us now. They must uh, I think they drew their game, draw, something like that. So they are going to probably hold on to their spot, which is fine. I mean, top 10, based on how we started the season. Not the worst spot everywhere, ever, but... And plus we're on positive goal differential, so <laughs> that feels pretty good considering how bad it looked. All right, I'm going to go play Swansea. We'll be back for West Brom.
All right, we're back for a game against West Brom here. Although I guess before I show you this, I will show you that we did end up losing to Swansea. Um, two to nothing. Just couldn't get anything rolling here. Uh, what are you going to do? I mean, it is what it is. It's just it's just the inconsistency that we've been playing with all season, obviously. I mean, truth be told, if we, if we were to copy some of this inconsistency up to here, where basically, let's say we got, you know, maybe two more wins and a draw. So let's say seven more points. Uh, that would have put us at 68. So we'd be, you know, just above Ipswich right now and, and shooting for eight. So it still would not have been good enough to be in the playoffs, of course. Uh, man, it actually feels like... Let's see. It feels like it's it was a, a larger spread of points this year than it was when we won it. No, we won it 89. Okay, fair enough. And then the seventh place was 77. I don't know why. It just feels... Um, feels higher but i guess it's just not it's, it's actually around about the same same level but uh, we are on 61 points right now so if we can win this one that'll give us 64 which is nine points more than the year before we won it last time so that'll feel like a good somewhat of an improvement i guess but uh here's the team we're bringing today watson goal hecker on the left Keddy on the right theodore and mornar in the middle Mar Ma mandanda and didio mandanda and didio <laughs> i guess it was all real fast uh in the midfield with fisher on the left wing hurt on the right wing umaru as our attacking midfielder of course and, of course, our man Campbell up front. Let's go. Hopefully we can get a good result today because I just want to end on a high note at this point. Just end on a high note. Plus, we need to see kind of what all of our players are capable of and just really be able to make a good judgment on who we're keeping, who we're letting go, things like that. Again, I think the formation is going to stay for the most part next season. The only difference might be if I decided again, make a, a, a more defensive version of it. Or just by flipping the, the attacking midfielder to the defense side of things. But I don't know. It does look like we're actually playing a similar formation to uh, West Brom here, except West Brom is playing defensive midfielders. That's an interesting adjustment from what we're running. There's Ketty with the ball, gets it over to the Dio. Mandanda with the ball, pushes up to Amaro. I blinked, literally blinked for just a second. And I looked up and it was in the back of the net. I'm going to have to see this highlight because I just like, my brain, I went down to look at the uh, the bottom of the screen for just a split second and then looked back up and it was already in the goal. Campbell picking this one up. What in the world? Ugh. I want Campbell. I mean, look, Campbell is not... Like, the most amazing striker we could get, I don't think. Um, but he's obviously good enough for what we need him to do. And so I would love to get Campbell back. <sighs> I was going to say, I think that one's offsides, but still. Just proves that he's, he's, he's just good. I mean, in this kind of situation, the offsides is, is, is understandable, honestly. He's trying to be in a position, and he just and it went off the bar, but... No, it's Campbell's Campbell's a guy we want. Best striker we've seen in a while. A very long while. In fact, we might actually go back through our history of strikers to see if if that is actually true. There's the Dio there. Oof, good attempt there from Dio. I like the Dio the, the, the Dio pickup. I can't say that very fast. Uh, I'm I'm very happy with him so far. I think he's going to turn out pretty well for us. Uh, Theodore's have been okay. Um, we've actually gotten quite a few good players that I'm I'm actually relatively happy with. They're not like superstar necessarily, but they're solid. And I think you need a good foundation of solid, and then two or three superstars. I think it's kind of a good recipe for success. And one of those superstars probably should be your striker. I think a good superstar midfielder is pretty good. And then it might probably like a superstar winger. Although we do also, I should say, we do already kind of have a superstar of sorts. I mean, Watts is, is obviously very good. He's had a rough year this year. He's not had a lot of help in the early part of the year. So it's kind of some stuff going against him. But overall, Watts is um, has done well. All right, Madonna can come out of here. Let's bring in Harris. And then Theodore can come out of here. Let's bring in Carew. Uh, pretty happy with Carew, too. 
Um, so definitely some good things. All right, we're going to start with, start with that and we'll probably do some more subs around the 75 minute mark. Come on guys, hold on here. Good, good takeaway by Katie there. It's up to Herd. Herd just gets, gives it up though. Goodness. I just don't think he saw the guy behind him. Come on guys. There's Dio. Oh, not a good pass. The other guy was not paying attention over there. Another highlight immediately. Morner with the ball. Gets it up to Ketty. Ketty pushing it up to Hurd. Hurd over to Dio. Back to Ketty. Morner now up to Dio. Over to Harris. Harris got a little bit of space here. Gets it over to Fisher. Fisher has a chance here to do something. Gets across. Oh, Imaru. Do we keep Amaru? Do we try to get Amaru back? I don't know. We can't get them all. They're all, they're too expensive. All right, still last couple subs here. Um, we'll get Hecker out if we got somebody who can play there. Eh, technically, sure, why not? Uh, do we have anybody for Didio? Yeah, we got Hawkshaw. Hawkshaw's probably the least, the one I'm least um, excited about overall. Uh, not that he's played poorly. He's done his job. It's just not like, anything exciting. Griffiths with a free kick. Hurt. Not able to get that one in there. Tries again. Nobody, I don't know where he was going with that. All right, held on for a good victory there at the end. Um, it's a good way to end it, I suppose. All things considered. Definitely need to play better the next year, though. Right? Uh, we did end up with a positive gold infantry. Barely. 10th uh, place. I'm happy with 10th place. Top 10 is a very good place to be. Uh, apparently, the board wanted us to be top uh, half or established or something like that. Let's see. What was it they wanted? Uh, I think it was down here. Yeah, top half finish. They want us to be top half finish, and we're there four years ahead of time, which is pretty normal. You know, we usually overachieve the board for the most part. Uh, supporters, I, they're just, I don't know why they're so disappointed. I mean, they're delighted with the possession. They're delighted with the high tempo. They're good with, with the entertaining, the attacking. They're disappointed with the set pieces, but that was just kind of a preferred. I'm honestly not sure why the supporters are, are not supporting us as much as the board is. The board is ecstatic with the uh, performance that we've done. But that is that. That's another season in the books. Not not our best, but definitely going to be an interesting off season to try and pick up some some players that we're going to actually end up keeping. Let me take a look at our players real quick. Um, obviously, next next episode will be the uh, end of season review. But uh, heard heard actually surprised me. Heard is going to be somebody we are definitely keeping. Um, I mean, not that I was planning on getting rid of him, but he's really stepped up this season. Carew, obviously, the new guy, looked really good. The Dio, we like him. I mean, he's done, done outstanding stuff for us this season, so that was a really good pickup for us. Uh, Fisher, way outside of our price range. No way. There's no way we can get him unless we can bring him back on loan, which I don't think that's going to happen, especially since they were unhappy with the fact that we didn't play him in the position they wanted. So Fisher's kind of out the, out the door. Mourner, I don't think there's any way we get Mourner back. We'll ask the agent about his availability. I mean, obviously more expensive than we could spend, but could we bring him back on loan? Uh, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for uh, make an offer. There we go. I just want to test him in a different environment. That, and I get that. That makes sense. Uh, Umaru. Umaru actually isn't that expensive. I mean, 6.92 is not like Crazy amazing, but he did get nine goals. Of, I mean, good enough to at least keep around if we can. Yeah. I think there's a chance that we could get him. He's definitely not as expensive. Uh, plus, he plays well with Campbell. So, if by any stretch of the imagination, if we can meet, meet this number, I think we would love to get Campbell back. 
And then Hawkshaw, again, not did not play poorly by any stretch of the imagination, but just wasn't like, ooh, oh, wow, amazing. But we'll check, we'll check his availability real quick. I mean, there's a chance he's viewed as a fringe player. Um, I doubt that they would let me have him on another loan. No, but there's a chance we could bring him back in. I mean, would we want him? I, I think we, we might. I mean, he, again, he didn't play bad. There's nothing wrong with him at all. And he could even get a little bit better than he currently is. So he might be a player that's worth trying to bring in permanently. So if we can bring in, I mean, definitely Campbell is our number one. Amaru and Hawkshaw would probably be just nice to haves. Obviously, Fisher and Morner, who played better than any of them, to be fair. But obviously, I think I think we can all agree that Campbell played well enough that he's worth trying to keep, if at all humanly possible. Um, people that did not play well. Uh, we didn't see Dickinson this season. Uh, probably should have given him a chance, but that's okay. Obviously, Cumberbatch we brought in, but uh, never saw a minute of him. And then Darby. I mean, we don't care about Darby. Evans, don't really care about Evans. I doubt we're going to get any money for him. Cameron Humphreys can kind of just go, honestly. Uh, he technically still has time off on his contract, but he could definitely go. Billy Bell, I actually thought Billy Bell was okay. Honestly, I don't know if there's any players that I just felt like have to leave. Like, I thought we did okay for the most part with our players, especially once they started playing well in the second half of the season. So it might just be a matter of just getting a couple people to replace the guys that I know we can't keep and then just kind of settling in from there. I mean, obviously if we get a really big offer for somebody that we have, we might just have to go through with it. You know, there's not much we can do about that, but I mean, Watts is our most valuable player right now up to 25 mil, which is insane to deal up to 14 mil potentially. So we'll see. But uh, obviously, like I said, next episode will be the transfer special. Obviously starting off with the, end of season review again overall disappointing season but i think we salvaged a lot there at the end i mean definitely a different season from that to that i mean a couple flip slip ups but slip ups are going to happen uh, i think we can the slip ups were not drastic right i mean we lost by a goal there uh several draws that obviously one goal difference would make it go the other way uh and there was only two i think two goal losses in this kind of second half of the season um, that really felt like really what, what was that, you know, type of moments. But, um, I mean, this one, four loss to Burnley. I don't think, I mean, I, I think we talked about that one. That one just, it did not feel like they were a three, three go difference over us. Um, so I don't read too much into that one. I mean, up here, we just couldn't score goals. And then all of a sudden we were able to, so definitely going down to the single striker, Gave up, gave more space for Campbell to do what he needed to do, which was which was awesome to see. All right, well that's gonna be it for today's episode. In the next episode, like I said, we'll go over this tough season and hopefully start getting ourselves set up for a better showing next year. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.